WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. These WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks as confirmed. Just today by WikiLeaks. It's been amazing what's coming out on WikiLeaks. They want to distract us from WikiLeaks. The wonder of WikiLeaks. Boy, that WikiLeaks has done a job on her, hasn't it? We've learned so much from WikiLeaks. Oh, we love WikiLeaks. Boy, they have really WikiLeaks. 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 I mean, this WikiLeaks is fascinating. The WikiLeaks revelations. This WikiLeaks is like a treasure trove. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, right? WikiLeaks. And you know, as I was getting off the plane, they were just announcing new WikiLeaks, and I wanted to stay there, but I didn't want to keep you waiting. I love reading those WikiLeaks. 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 It just came out on WikiLeaks. But Marcus Conti reporting on WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks and Donald Trump throwing WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Under the bus. Remember when you, you ever have a friend, you ever meet somebody, right? And you, you, you're, they do you a favor. You don't necessarily like the person or you're not really a, a fan of their character or whatever. They're just kind of like somebody that you, like a, an acquaintance, not necessarily a friend. And, and, um, it, but they're in a position to, to give you some sort of leverage, some sort of, some sort of great leap forward or some sort of advantage in a situation that you're interested in, and then they, they extend their hand to you, right? Inadvertently or directly, whatever, but they, they extend themselves to you, and you take that hand and you allow them to help you. And then one day, when it's, when it's uh, not convenient or not, uh, you know, when, when, the, when, the, when the hot lights of the, the, uh, the, the you know, the, the public... And the hot lights of the public dim down. You say, hey, you know what? I don't really need that person. You know, fuck that person. Who is that guy? I, you know, I didn't even like them anyway. I didn't like them anyway, right? And most people, most people don't like them. Right? That's kind of what's what Trump is doing right now in in uh, in terms of Julian Assange in my neighborhood, right? And it's funny because Trump grew up in in Queens, but of course he grew up a rich kid. He grew up very privileged, you know, million dollar, million dollar daddy. He didn't go to public schools. He went to private schools. He, he got on a plane and went to Florida for the weekend. And right? so Trump didn't live the New York upbringing. I don't think he's ever said he has, but nonetheless, uh, in my neighborhood, if you went to like in Queens, for example, in high school and, and it was, and someone did you a favor Right, if someone helped you out, and especially if it's if it's in your circle of people that you run with, and then you turn your back on them later and say, "I don't know who fucking what. I don't even know the guy. Who is this guy? I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy." Right, and everybody around you knows the people that matter, the real people that matter know that you that you turn your back on this guy. Right, you say, "Fuck you, man. I don't need you, man." Yo, dude, I got what I I got what I need, man. I got what I need for myself. Right? Fuck that guy, right? You know, and then you'd wait for your beating. Right? Literally, literally, if you turn your back on friends and people that help you out, you know, in the hood, at least in New York City, where the way I grew up, you, you just you just wait for your beating. Right? And it's not something you would do anyway. It's only something a coward or a rat would do. Right? A real scumbag. Right? That's what scumbags do. Scumbags. Use people, users. They use people and then throw them under the bus when they're done. Right? So that's Donald Trump. Right? Let's watch some more. You don't believe it? Right? So here he is. Right? Did he throw? Did he throw? Um, he throw Assange under the bus? I still love WikiLeaks. Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's what? I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Do you? Uh, I know nothing about. I still love WikiLeaks. Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. Can't make it up. Like Bernie got a little bit of a bad deal based on WikiLeaks, right? They want to distract us from WikiLeaks. It's been amazing what's coming out on WikiLeaks. Now, that's the president of the United States in his campaign. Is, is Julian Assange a publisher? Is WikiLeaks a publisher? Yeah. Right? That's all it is. It's very simple. 
there's no you can't bring espionage charges against the publisher because the publisher is doing what the First Amendment allows a publisher to do, which is freedom of the press. Everything that the news reports, anything that's interesting or provocative or newsworthy is new. And at the, at the end of that newness, at the other side, coming out the other side of that newness, right, that, that new revelation, that new piece of news, is always someone, someone takes the hit for that. Right? So if you're exposing, you know, criminality or if you're exposing corruption or, or, or you know, bribery or something, any you know, murder, whatever it is, right, and you unravel that mystery, always, always, always someone is going to be at the, uh, at the butt end of that, that uh, news. And that is the nature of news. That is what the, the, at least the mainstream media used to do. What, you know, Washington Post broke um, Watergate for example, two writers inside Watergate, but that was the nature of journalism at the time, right? And it, what, what has changed? What has changed now? Why is it suddenly, suddenly it's not, this is not journalism. Why, it's not journalism. That's what they're saying. You read the, you read, I, I read the, um, the indictment that Julian Assange is now indicted on 17 additional charges of espionage for conspiring, conspiracy to to uh, damage the United States of America, right? rather than just conspiracy to publish facts, publish actual war crimes, right? So, so back to Trump. Trump again. Trump knows who WikiLeaks is. Trump is a was a cheerleader for WikiLeaks, the publisher, the publishing house, WikiLeaks, right? Right up there with now is has replaced New York Times, you know, Washington Post, Daily News. These are all shit, shit papers now, right? All right, so so Trump is now, Trump denies that, that uh, and again, anybody who thinks that Trump is not behind this is 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 just out of your mind, right? So the so the president appoints the attorney general, and then the attorney general acts in a, in a lot of ways. People don't know this, but I, I know the the mainstream media is trying to uh, trying to uh, cl- muddy these waters, but. The principal uh, duties of the attorney general is to represent the United States in legal matters, right? Supervise and direct the administration and operations of the offices, boards, divisions, and bureaus that compromise the department, right? Furnish advice and opinions, formal and informal, on legal matters to the president and and the cabinet and to heads of the executive departments of agencies of the government as provided by law. So the idea that Mr. Trump is not able to call off the dogs, that this is some sort of deep state, William Barr and the federal prosecutor, uh, that, that, that in fact the federal prosecutor in this case with Assange is uh, an appointee of Donald Trump, right? To, not, to, to say, to, to argue uh, that uh, I know people like to argue it that 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 Trump has no power over any of these people. No, his attorney general can walk into advise at any moment, advise the president, say this is a shit, this is a shit show over here. This is this this guy is a publisher of materials, whether we like it or not, whether it was it was it was it was uh, you know embarrassing to certain people inside the government is not the point. The point is that he's a publisher. And if you threaten one, you threaten all. And all you have to do is take a look at WikiLeaks and just see what they said about Bernie Sanders. Even Chelsea Clinton, the WikiLeaks email show, expressed serious concerns about conflicts of interest at the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. So he makes no, uh, Trump is making no uh, argument that what WikiLeaks publishes is real and factual. And 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 newsworthy and sought after. Here's the president of the United States making the case for WikiLeaks. I know there is something having to do with uh, Julian Assange. I've I've been seeing what's happened with uh, Assange, and uh, that will be a determination. I would imagine mostly by the Attorney General, who's doing an excellent job. So. He'll be making a uh, determination. I know nothing really about him. It's not my, it's not my deal in life. 
it's not my deal in life, right? But it was, it was when it was your deal in life. See, that's, that's throwing someone under the bus. That's the definition of throwing somebody under the bus. You say, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, he doesn't, we don't need him anymore. Why? I don't know. He said, it's really not my thing. I don't know. You know what? Assange, yeah. I remember that guy. He's kind of weird. He's fucking, you know, that's, that's the guy in England, right? I remember that guy. That guy's like a, what is he living in a, he's living in a, in a, in a box in, in, a, in Ecuador somewhere, right? Isn't he fucking, that guy? Fuck that guy, man. I'm the president now. I'm Donald Trump. I'm the president. Right? That's what it is. You get a beating for that in my neighborhood. All right, so, so what else? So Assange, right? He's a uh, founder of WikiLeaks. This is just a review of some of the stuff. So the 17, um, 17 new indictments, all conspiracy to commit crimes. <laughs> to, he published materials, right? Now, is the mainstream media chirping about this? I don't know because I don't watch mainstream media, but I, I, I can assure you that they're trying to lump him in. See, Trump's Trump's what's happening. A lot of a lot of people are trying. What they're doing is they're lumping Assange in with the fake news, right? All right, Trump the 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 fake news declares Trump and and that they they hold Trump uh, when Trump says the media is the enemy of the people, right? And Trump has said that the media is the enemy of the people, and now they're just putting they're just putting. Julian Assange on on that pile of fake news, the enemy of the people. It's not going to work. I mean, it, it could work because a lot of American people are stupid, and a lot of the people that are supporting Trump believe wholeheartedly that he has some executive plan that he's he's so brilliant and such a strategic genius. But really, he's just a, he's a two faced scum. Really, in this case, so so it's. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what else, you know. So look, here's, here's something even more interesting, right? Because, again, I've always said it. I, I've, I've stood, on a, stood on the soapbox for two years now telling you that the, the origins of Russiagate, what, what the, the essence of Russiagate is, is a cover-up for election fraud. Right? In 2016, March, April, May, someone snatched the DNC's emails, right? Someone took control of those emails. All evidence suggests that it was a inside grab. Somebody inside the DNC got a hold of that stuff, got a hold of that thumb drive. I stuck it, I took that thumb drive, and I stuck it in there and said, pow, I got it. I got it, right? And, and they ran out and they dumped it on, they tried to actually shop it around, right? She tried to shop this shit around, right, to... Uh, to uh, to other people, right, and and uh, ultimately dumped it on WikiLeaks, right. Now we don't know the source of that because the publisher uh, Julian Assange is in jail right now, and is standing on his laurels, high, high you know, covering for his source. I, at some point, I, I mean, I think that you should listen. If the if who is the source? Does you do you know the source? So just tell, give it up, give up the source, <clears throat> and let's. Uh, Let's find out who the um, who the leak was. Who who gave you the the information? Who gave you Podesta's emails? It's very important at this point. But really, the story is about election fraud. RussiaGate is uh, a story about the Democratic National Committee under the under the guidance of Hillary Clinton stealing an election from the insurgent candidate, Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton was able to buy off all of the superdelegates, <clears throat> cut deals with all the major media, cut deals with all the Democratic governors and senators and Congress people all across the country, all the mayors, the governors, and create this, this illusion that she would be the president and that you will get a favor for supporting me and throwing that socialist under the bus. Throwing a, the commie, commie socialist under the bus, right? The guy that the people were supporting, where Hillary Clinton couldn't fill up a gymnasium with a hundred people, and most of those people were usually paid, uh, paid. They were paid through unions or whatever. You should go to, go sit in front of uh, Hillary Clinton, watch Hillary Clinton for an hour, uh, and they would go as a as a comp. They didn't get they get two hours compensation for it, right? Uh, but while while Hillary Clinton was struggling to get. 100 people in an auditorium, 
Bernie Sanders was putting, you know, 10,000, 12,000, 26,000 people together screaming for policy, screaming for policies for the American people, right? And that, that the oligarchy couldn't have. And that is the story of Russiagate. When they got caught re leading into the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia in August 2016, leading into that, that's when the real dumps started. That's when Assange started to, to really uh, dump the, the bulk of what he had. But Desta's emails came later. Right? And that was all to, to show the world that the Democrats stole the election right in front of everybody's face. Now, you, if you want to, I know gaslighting is very effective. And if you don't talk about the same thing every day, people pretend, people start to assume that it never happened. But the, the, the election was clearly rigged in many, many respects. Right? It was, it was, we saw polling places were closed. People were purged off the rolls. I'm going to show you this article right here is from uh, Tim Canova down in Florida, who's still fighting his case where he, he, he went up against uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. All statistics, statistically, it looks like he won. And then when he challenged it, the, uh, the uh, Ballard County uh, destroyed the paper ballot so that there could not be a recount, right? All that kind of stuff is going on. This is factual evidence. The, the exit polls not matching is a, is a huge red flag. Nobody paid any attention to that. The fact that the, ele the electoral machines are highly riggable, that a lot of times the chain of custody uh, is questionable. In other words, when, when they shut down the polling places, where those machines go and who actually counts the, the, the electronic result and then deletes it is very, very gray and very, very, uh, very um, sketchy, very shady. Uh, so... So there is overwhelming evidence that Russiagate was a, a creation of Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook in the DNC, March, April, May of 2016. And then, and then once they hatcheted Bernie Sanders and theoretically got him out of the way, once Hillary Clinton and Trump, you know, uh, went head to head, the only way for Hillary Clinton's team to get Bernie Sanders' crowd just got screwed, right? And the only way for Hillary Clinton and, and the Dirty Democrats to get Bernie Sanders' people on board is to create this illusion that, that Russia, that Russia did it. We didn't do it. No, no, no. We didn't, we didn't cheat. Russia stole our emails, right? But, oh, yeah, but what you, what's in the emails, I know it says we cheated, but that's not the point. To them, the point is that all of the emails got stolen. And then that's when Trump came into the picture. They took that whole story and planted it on Trump. Now, Trump instructed the Russians. They doubled down on the lie. Trump instructed the Russians to hack the election. <laughs> or, right? And then so, so now, now they have their, their, their manufacturing consent. Right? Trump is now... Trump is now, um, uh, he's, he's a Russian, he's a Putin puppet, right? So now they then go and get Pfizer reports, Pfizer warrants based on f bullshit, you know, PP dossier where two hookers pee on Trump, right? And just absolute nonsense and, and spy, literally spying on, on a political opponent. And all the, the corruption was obvious inside of the FBI, the CIA, the, the uh, NSA, the president's office, the attorney general at the time, Loretta Lynch, certainly Bill Clinton flying around, meeting Le Loretta Lynch on a tarmac, cutting deals. They told her she'd be on the Supreme Court if she, you know, well, that's, that's rumor. But nonetheless, the, the meeting uh, on the tarmac between Hill, uh, Loretta Lynch and um, Bill Clinton is very documented. So there's all this stuff, all this um, insane um, revelation inside of uh, Russiagate, right? That is the real story of Russiagate. And, uh, but this president, all he cares about is his, what's, what's in it for me, right? I don't give a fuck about Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, who? Again, throw him under the bus, right? He, for, at one point, he was, a, he was a cheerleader for WikiLeaks when the revelations were working in his favor. Now that he's the president, he doesn't need WikiLeaks. Keep the guy in a prison, right? Now, people think that 
People are saying who's that? Uh, oh no 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 no! You don't know. So you don't know the mind of Trump. That 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 Julian Assange is an asset. We're gonna they're gonna take Julian Assange out of the. They're gonna bring Julian Assange forward, and Julian they're gonna give Julian Assange the the uh, podium to tell how terrible how how the, uh, the the Democrats hacked the election, and that 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 it wasn't the Russians, right? That's what you're thinking right now. That is. Absolutely insane thinking, right? Why don't you just get him now? Why do you why you make a man suffer? You put a man in jail. That's that you call that democracy. You call that you call that fairness. You call that uh, treating people with respect. You call that uh, well, I call that insanity. I call that you imprison a guy. You now hang hundred and eighty years in prison time over his head. Right? You cut him off from the world for 22 hours a day, locked in a cell, no internet connection, no newspapers, right? and with the, with the pending threat that he might be extradited to a country that hates his guts, that called for his assassination many, many times, and that's you're going to release someone, you're going to release that guy into the, the hands of, their, of his enemy, the United States of America. And, uh, and, 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 and nobody's, and you don't see a problem with that. You don't see a problem with threatening Assange, right? Even if you have this master play in mind, how cruel, how, how absurd it is to, to defend uh, an action like that. No, no, no. He has a plan. See, that's the only thing he can do right now. He can't free, he can't free Julian. He can't do that because if he does, then uh, something, something's going to happen, right? Then he, he loses his, his hand. There's some bullshit like that, right? So so what else do I want to talk about over here? So Assange is still in jail. Right? And, um, oh, yeah, so let's talk about Trump. Right? I guess we got to talk about Trump. Right? So, uh, so Trump is... Um, Declassifying, wow, he's so fucking powerful, right? Trump gives Attorney General authority to declassify Russia probe documents, right? I'm 20 minutes in, I finally talked about it, right? So President Trump uh, has directed the heads of several government agencies to cooperate with, with uh, Attorney General William Barr's investigation of the origins of the Russia probe. <laughs> Big fart in the wind. You know, maybe, maybe something will come out of it. Don't expect people to get thrown in jail. Right? So William Barr is gonna he's gonna come out, they're gonna flex their muscles. It's a big threat. Nobody nobody goes to jail. None of these deep state players go to jail because at at the time they're all doing their own thing. They're all law enforcement agents. And um, they uh, he made some bad judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a Pfizer warrant, but uh, you know, so they don't expect Sit around waiting. I know. Oh, here comes the big move. Fucking Q tolls the whole shit. Uh, fucking Q tolls us. It's coming, man. God damn you. Oh my God. It's fucking. I can't believe it. Man. That's what you guys are thinking, right? <laughs> that's, that's how the Q people act. Right? Like, oh, no, no. Just wait. Sit on your hands. Take your hands. Sit on your hands and watch this shit. Eat your popcorn. It's fucking going to be great, man. William Barr is going to roll ahead. This has been going on for two and a half, three years, right? You got, you got the, um, you know, fucking buffoon in chief now saying, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll lock everybody up uh, after the election. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous, right? So what, what will come out of the, the um, declassification? Most of America doesn't even know what that is. You think they give a shit? Declassified, you know, this is all... A lot of the things that I just talked about, remember, is inside pool. Right? It's, it's you, the people. The, if you're watching this and you're watching me rant about this, you're an insider. You, you're someone who who follows inside politics and you know the ins and outs of it. But the, the you know, to, to 75, 80 percent of the country, probably more, has no idea what you're talking about, right? They don't even know who William Barr is. They don't even know. You know, you say well, Julian Assange. They think they think of like, oh, isn't he that? Uh, isn't he the spy, the, the the English spy? You know, they don't know who who he is. They have no idea, right? Right. So, so, um, so declassification, right? Also, we'll declassify some stuff. Maybe we'll find out that that uh, yes, the FBI used very very poor judgment and in fact fabricated the FISA warrants to get a spying judgment on Trump. We'll find that out, of course, right? But whose head's going to roll? Nobody's heads are going to roll. It's just going to be vibrato for 
bravado for Trump to pound on his chest while he's fending off the Democrats trying to take a seat. And meanwhile, you know, meanwhile, in the real world, Trump, uh, I'll leave you with this, right? Two of my favorite people in the whole world, right? It's Bernie Sanders and uh, and Howard Stern, right? So Howard Stern, why, check this shit out, man. I fucking found this shit. No, no, let you go. Who would you be excited to have on? Oh, gee, I, I don't know. That, that, that's Joe Biden. Uh, sure, why not? Because Joe Biden's had a fascinating life. Sure. And I think it would be interesting. Bernie. I mean, <clears throat> Bernie Sanders, for sure. You know, Bernie Sanders is probably... My biggest hero for one reason. Wow. On The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, the king of all media, Howard Stern, revealed that Democratic presidential nominee Bernie Sanders is one of his biggest heroes. Howard explained that there were times when he felt attacked by the FCC and that his career in radio may be over. That is, until Bernie came to the rescue. Bernie Sanders got up in the Senate and said, I think what you're doing to Howard Stern is wrong. I believe in freedom of speech. And I want to go on record as saying you got to stop it. And now that is a friend. That right there, Howard Stern, is calling is calling a friend a friend. I had someone who Bernie Sanders is no fair weather friend. Bernie Sanders saw the the fact that Howard Stern was getting getting you know dragged through the mud for speaking his mind, and Bernie Sanders went on the Senate floor and defended Howard Stern. Where's Donald Trump? Where's fucking? Where's the traitor in chief? Right? Where's where is he, man? Where is he? Silent. Right? Assange? I don't know Assange. I don't know. WikiLeaks? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's the fucking? I don't know Assange, man. I don't know. It's not my thing, you know. I don't know. Marcus Conti reporting. I uh, become a Patreon, or make a one-time contribution, and don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.